Let's see what we can return to today. The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Sounds like an amazing plan. Let's go. Alright, so, we left off in a place nowhere near here, but... I found out that there is, in fact, a thing. Here we go! So that... That's me hitting the wrong button. I wanted to save, not load. Thank you very much. Yeah, we are up to two out of four on the pieces of heart, so only two more of those left to go. Which is pretty nice. So how am I doing on... I forgot to open this uh, um, strategy guide. One moment. <laughs> okay. All well and good. Oh, we're going to actually need this. Okay, all well and good now. And yeah, I'll, I'll be doing, um, question was asked in chat if, after I finish this, if I would do the other handheld Zelda games, and, uh, yeah. You know, they just have not yet come up on the, uh, Lexi game requests, so. Or, not requests, but the Lexi game spins, I suppose it would be. Yeah, let's go this way. <laughs> that does not actually work, strangely enough. Even though you're flying, you cannot pass over the block. Which I don't know why it works out that way, but it works out that way, so... <laughs> that's how we have to do it. It's like... Uh, other than... well... You know, anything that blocks movement also blocks flying. Things that make you fall down holes don't block flying, so that's why the flying exists. So we need to go all the way up to the top. Mm, yeah, yeah, this way. And we have our amazing red clothes, so we have all the power. Well, not quite all the power yet. We still are missing our... Nope, don't need to go there. Still missing that level 2 sword. Which we will not get in this video, but it should... Well, yeah, it should definitely be in the next video. Annoying, but whatever. I think now, I know we have uh, Zelda Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages yet to come. Is that the thing I care about? Those rupees, yeah. We also have uh, Oracle of Seasons. Obviously the two will go together. And that will be a complete playthrough of, uh, you know, beating one game, getting the password, beating the other game with said password to uh, face the final boss. Three guesses who the final boss is, and the first two don't count. And let's see, I believe it is all the way over here. Yep, yep. <laughs> I will also be doing, um... What's it called there? Oh, right, uh, Link to the Past. The Game Boy Advance version. In which they replace all the sound effects with, um... The grunting and ha ing of the uh, N64 game. So that'll be joyous. I'm not a big fan of those sound effects in the game, but you know, it's not terrible. And wasted bomb, but that's okay, that's not how we want to do that. I think that's even further away. It's actually 
actually possible to get every chest in this area. But yeah, those are the Zelda games I will be playing for Lexi games. In terms of stream games, I may well be playing... <sighs> Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Oh, right, duh. Minish. Totally forgot about Minish Cap. Yes, that will absolutely be a Lexi game game as well. I obviously will not be doing the regular Game Boy version of Link's Awakening since there is literally zero reason to do it. The only thing I can think of that is in Link's Awakening that is not in this um, color version, Link's Awakening DX, is the um, select screen map glitch to warp you ahead, which is literally a glitch that they fixed for this version, so no actual reason to play that game. But yeah, I will very likely do Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks. Don't know how well that will work out with a DS emulator and a mouse, but I'm sure we can uh, safe state our way to victory like we do with literally everything else. Right, and I think this is just a um, fairy heal point. What do you know? That's okay. Not gonna actually bother refilling because um, I have so much health now it's ridiculous. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And let me see if I remember. Huh, I don't remember. Where is it then? You went the way. Sworn it was in this room. Oh well, going out here then. Must be in a uh, different side. Also, good time to realize I never went to get the goddamn key. So let's uh, try the other exit. Oh, Could have used that hurt, but that's okay. Here. Seriously, all the Zelda games that don't have that... Oh, wait. Duh. That do not have that... Tink your sword against the wall to check for... Secrets and, uh, bombable walls. Those ones... Not a fan. That's kind of a staple of the series. Oh, wait. Unda, we can't move across. Hmm. Okay, so that is not the way to go. So I'm going exactly back the way I just was, so that's... It's not going to get us anywhere. to go in a different direction. Which was way up here. I'm pretty sure that is where um, the guy with the hibiscus was. Well, the guy we uh, pop a hole who we gave the hibiscus to, to get the pineapple. 
And yeah, he gives you the clue of to, you know, going to get the rooster. Also, it's Luigi. So, with the rooster, go ahead and get to a couple things. Namely this, that is the most important thing that's up in this area. Because there's literally nothing else over there. Yeah, didn't realize that would be a thing. Of course, we don't actually need the rooster for that, we could have done that with the, um, feather a long time ago. And this we can totally do with the hook shot. But again, totally fine. Just gonna use the chicken on everything. I already got the sword equipped, what am I doing? Alright, so right down here. Thank you. There we go, now I go over here, and... Instant Heart Piece. Again, if you have the select uh, map screen warp glitched available if you're playing the original Game Boy game, you can get that one amazingly early on in the game. Otherwise, it is going to be one of the last pieces you're likely to get, and... I don't think I can actually get to... No, I can't. I can't get to the other thing that's over that way yet. Come on. Well, losing a half heart there. Unless I choose to not be lazy and, uh, you know, get out something other than the bombs. Which isn't gonna happen. Oh, fun thing you can do. Totally forgot to show it off. Boomerang! Chicken! Invulnerable and killing everything. Kind of fantastic. I mean, there's no actual need to ever do that, but it is fun. Let's see. I don't think we actually need to go... Yes, we do. Oh so, yeah, well, actually, why even bother with that? We can fly! Screw your block puzzles, I have a chicken. Screw your tiny jumps, I have a chicken! There we go, so now we have the bird key, which, um... Would have been handy to have, like, 20 minutes ago, when we were up at the Eagle Tower. But that's okay. Oh no, too far. So what are we at now? 24. Last two are... Oh! Hmm. One of them is in a spot I can get to, which I should have already gotten to, but that's okay. Exactly. Yeah. It is this way. I'll just boomerang everything. And yeah, that works. Instant fairy when you boomerang the, uh, mushroom bomb tosser guys. I should actually look up what the name of them is. I have the freaking strategy guide open right here. It has an entire listing of every single enemy and all their names. I should get around to looking that up at some point. And I'd swear we did get this. I'm like 99% positive we did this. Okay, we did that. What the hell? Oh. Duh! We have one more to go. 
because... Can I have it back up? Well, that's... Two screens better, but still. Yeah, only 25, not 26. Memory! So we will get another, um, teleportal up at the, uh, top left area, so we won't have to do all this climbing and walking. Though we will only need to go to that top left area once. It would normally be a nice thing because usually when, you know, not playing with save states and... Um, when was this release? 92, I think? No, 93. Yeah, when not playing with, you know... 23 years of experience of having played this game. I don't even know how many times, literally probably over a dozen. Yeah, um, you're gonna be dying a lot in Turtle Rock, so having the warp there to get back is very helpful. I'm actually gonna need my sword. Also, the chicken is now, I believe, useless. I don't remember. I don't think there were any spots that we needed to uh, use it to get around up here. So, you know. we exit the Eagle's Tower, the chicken will just disappear. It'll just bugger off back to, uh, town, I suppose. And, um, I think we won't see it again until the end credits montage. Now we can finally get into the damned Eagle Tower. There's been, well, like, almost a half hour of wandering around, picking up junk. So, Eagle's Tower is a fun little tower. Technically, it has four floors, also moonwalking. But, after we get done, it, uh, it will not have four floors. So yeah, you can see the four floors there on the map. And I could have sworn that did a thing. Oh well. 